Welcome to the Ultimate Smart Oven Showdown. In this final episode, we're going to look at all three ovens from the previous episodes and compare them to learn which is the smartest and ultimately which one I would recommend to you. I'm Chris Young, co-author of Modernist Cuisine and creator of the Jewel Sous Vide Circulator and the Combustion Predictive Thermometer. If you've been enjoying this series, please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe so that I can keep producing in-depth product reviews like these as well as videos that explore the science of cooking. Now, I've made videos on each of these ovens already, and if you haven't seen them and want to check them out, there are links in the description. There's also a playlist up here if you just want to watch those videos first. They give you more background on each oven, provide additional technical details, and explore some of the surprising physics of what's going on in our ovens. But to refresh your memory, we started with the brand new Joule Oven Air Fryer Pro by Breville. Then we looked at the third generation June oven before considering the Ninja Foodi 10 in one Smart Oven XL. I've been testing each of these ovens for the last six months in my kitchen studio and also at home with my family. In this video, I'm gonna summarize what I think are the pros and cons of each of these ovens. Some of what I say are subjective opinions based on my experience cooking with each of them. Other things are objective facts around the capabilities and the measured performance of each oven. Finally, I'll conclude this series by giving you my recommendation for which oven I think you should consider purchasing, and I'll tell you which of these will be staying in my kitchen. Let's start by talking about the size of these ovens, because dimensions are one of the first things you should consider, because if it won't fit on your countertop, it's probably not the right oven for you. Starting with Breville's Jewel Oven, it has the widest external footprint, but also the shallowest depth by a good margin. That's nice if you want to fit it on a shallow shelf like I do here. The June oven has the same usable internal width and depth, but minimizes its external width by moving the fans to the back and the controls into the door. Finally, the Ninja oven is much narrower than the other two ovens, but adds about two inches of extra height, enough to be able to cook a medium to largest roast on one shelf and have a casserole on the second shelf. In the last episode, I said that I believe minimizing the width on the countertop is my preference because it leaves more room for your other appliances and also prepping your meal. As long as the oven fits under any cabinets above it, the extra height is kind of a freebie. So I like Ninja's design of minimizing its width and maximizing its height. And I think this is something that should be more widely copied. Stripped down to its essentials, a countertop oven is just a metal box that heats up and maintains a select temperature. All of these ovens have the same 1800 watt rating, so in theory, they should all heat up at about the same rate. But data trumps theory, and I used my wireless predictive thermometer to characterize each of these ovens and see just how quickly each preheats and how accurately each oven maintains its set point temperature. Surprisingly, there's a pretty significant difference in preheating times, as this chart shows. The Ninja Foodi reached 400 degrees Fahrenheit in eight and three quarters minutes. Breville's Joule oven took 10 and three quarters minutes, and the June oven took nearly a full 12 minutes, almost 40% longer than the Ninja Foodi XL. Does this matter? Personally, it wasn't something that I really noticed, but during testing over the last six months, my wife mentioned that the June oven seemed particularly slow to preheat and found the faster ovens more convenient for her needs. What about accuracy and stability? This plot shows the measured preheating performance and holding stability of each oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Ninja's oven temperature briefly overshoots, then oscillates as the heating elements turn on and off. But the average of these oscillations actually works out to being within five degrees of the set point, which is the best of any oven that I've measured, including some very expensive built-in ovens. June and Breville's Joule oven actually end up falling short of the target temperature and then slowly decaying to an even lower temperature as they stabilize. They end up running about 12 and 16 degrees Fahrenheit below the target 400 degree temperature, which isn't massive, but it isn't particularly good either. And if I increase each oven to its maximum rated temperature, useful when you wanna quickly brown or crisp something, Breville's Joule oven falls 50 degrees short of its maximum rated temperature of 485 degrees, and Ninja's oven falls 20 degrees short of its maximum rated temperature of 450 degrees. So both of these two ovens end up maxing out at about 430 degrees Fahrenheit, and the data doesn't support their claimed maximum temperature in either case. 
It actually gets a bit worse when food is added to these ovens, and practically speaking, when cooking with them, you should expect them to struggle to maintain a temperature much above 400 degrees Fahrenheit. While slower, the June oven has the best high temperature performance in two ways. First, it reaches 480 degrees, or about 20 degrees short of its claimed 500 degree limit. And with food, you can expect to achieve temperatures about 50 degrees higher than the Jewel or Ninja Foodi XL ovens. But what I think is arguably more important is that this is the only oven I can comfortably touch when it's at its maximum temperature. Both the Breville Jewel oven and the Ninja oven are literally boiling hot to the touch when cranked all the way up. Since these are all convection ovens that sell themselves as air fryers too, we need to talk about their fans. We looked at convection in depth in the last episode, but as a brief reminder, all of these ovens use a centrifugal fan to draw air into the center of the fan and then accelerate it out to the tips before returning it into the oven cavity. For rapid cooking, like air frying, what you want is the maximum volume of circulating air at the highest possible speed. Now, all of these fans spin at about the same RPM, so the bigger the fan, the more oomph you're gonna get. But for maximum velocity, it's critical to avoid restricting the airflow as it leaves the fan. And this is a detail the Ninja Foodi oven gets very right. It's the largest fan, and it avoids restricting its exhaust. It also turns the air smoothly against the sidewalls of the oven to maintain the air's velocity as it circulates. And it's the only oven that wraps a heating element around the fan to heat the recirculated air as quickly and efficiently as possible before returning it to the oven. This is a design copied from professional combi ovens costing tens of thousands of dollars, and it works very, very well. It makes the Ninja Foodi XL unquestionably the best air fryer of these ovens. In contrast, both Breville's Jewel oven with its one relatively large fan and the June oven with two smaller fans have designs that restrict the air by forcing it through undersized slots in the sheet metal. This slows the air and makes it turbulent before it even reaches the heating elements. Of these two ovens, Breville's Jewel oven has the more powerful design, but the net result is that the air in both of these ovens is not reaching the food as hot and forcefully as possible. But the Ninja Foodi XL's fan design isn't without a major drawback. It can't be completely turned off. Depending on the kind of cooking you want to do, this might be a deal killer. For example, forced convection can be a problem when baking. You often want uneven heating from the bottom of the oven, and if you're making something delicate, like a souffle, the powerful fan in the Ninja oven becomes a real problem. As we discussed in the last episode, a powerful convection fan can be useful for quickly searing or air frying, but for most other cooking jobs, it doesn't buy you much. Worse, for a lot of baking and roasting, trying to speed cooking with high temperature forced convection just overcooks your food. And this brings up the cooking jobs that an oven does for you. Each of these ovens market themselves as a multi-purpose cooking appliance. June positions their oven as a 12-in-1 appliance. Ninja actually calls theirs the Ninja Foodi 10-in-1 XL Smart Oven. And Breville's Jewel Oven isn't just an oven, it's the Breville Jewel Oven Air Fryer Pro. Is this just marketing? Yes. And also, no. All of these ovens can control the same two things their heating elements and their fans. That's it. So in a sense, the cooking modes are just marketing labels to make these appliances seem more versatile. On the other hand, it is useful to have pre-programmed settings that help you figure out which heating elements should be turned on and how fast the fan should spin when baking, broiling, roasting, air frying, dehydrating, and more. All of these ovens have the same pre-programmed modes and all work reasonably well in my experience. As I've mentioned, the Ninja Foodi XL is significantly limited by not being able to turn off its fan. So the very thing that makes it an exceptional air fryer makes it mediocre for baking. Breville's Jewel Oven has something they call Element IQ, which gives them more granular control over how much power is flowing to each individual heating element. And in my testing, this does make a meaningful difference for some programs, like the one I tested for frozen pizza. The June Oven also seems to have this capability, and I've found its pre-programmed cooking modes work well. Air frying is its weakest capability, but its broiler function is the very best of these ovens because of its highly polished interior that reflects the glow of the elements around so that the food browns more uniformly anywhere on the rack. 
I think my point here is that all three of these ovens have the same modes of operation. But just like characters in a video game, each oven has areas of strength and weakness that will make each more or less enjoyable for you, depending on the kinds of cooking you do. Now this series is called the Ultimate Smart Oven Showdown. And sensors are what make an oven smart, in my opinion. All ovens have at least one temperature sensor for control. But the sensor in the back wall of your oven tells you nothing about what's going on in and around your food as it cooks. Temperature is usually the gauge of when something is cooked, and I think for an oven to be able to claim it's smart, the minimum standard should be whether it can measure when your food has reached your preferred doneness. This requires another thermometer that can be inserted into your food. Both the June and Ninja Foodie XL ovens include wired thermometers that do exactly this job. It's somewhat puzzling that Breville's Joule oven doesn't include a thermometer that can be inserted into the food. As we saw in the first episode, this leaves the oven flying blind, and it seriously overcooked my chicken when using Joule's autopilot recipe in the otherwise excellent Joule mobile app. As a cook, I also use other senses when cooking, like my sense of sight. As we saw in the second episode, the June oven uniquely incorporates a camera into the oven for visual feedback that can recognize your food and adjust cooking programs when things are at risk of going from golden brown to burnt. Is this indispensable? No. Is it useful? I think that depends on how you want to use your oven, but I will go as far as to say it's quite delightful when the oven recognizes what I'm about to cook and brings up useful presets. In my opinion, the June is the smartest of these three ovens and clearly demonstrates the value of combining sensors and modern software to do a reasonable job of cooking my food to the doneness I prefer. Is it perfect? No, but it is very nice. And software brings up the final topic of the Smart Oven Showdown, internet connectivity. Of these three ovens, only the June and Breville's Joule oven are connectable to the internet and have associated mobile apps. Because of this, both of these two appliances have the potential to get better over time as the manufacturers add new software-defined capabilities. Breville's Joule oven is very clearly a first-generation effort, and one that I think is hobbled by its lack of sensors. But in theory, this can also change if Breville were to add support for the various wireless thermometers on the market or come out with their own. In contrast, the third generation June oven is very polished and a coherent user experience when moving between the app and the oven's delightful interface. June's connected cooking experience is focused on controlling your oven and running programmatic recipes from a somewhat limited selection in their app. Breville seems to be pursuing a different strategy with connectivity one that's very focused on recipe content. If you squint and tilt your head when looking at the Joule app, you can imagine that Breville is trying to make Joule the Netflix for recipe content in your kitchen. They've licensed premium content from reputable sources like the New York Times, America's Test Kitchen, Serious Eats, William Sonoma, as well as added their own internal content created by Breville's Test Kitchen and Chef Steps. This curated content has been reformatted for a mobile app, and tailored a bit for use with the Breville oven. Right now, I wouldn't say their appliances are smart, nor do they work with these recipes in an intelligent and adaptive way. But you can see the attempts being made here with the autopilot-enabled recipes. So should you get the Breville Jewel Air Fryer Pro or the June oven? Or should you save some money and buy the Ninja Foodie 10-in-1 XL Smart Oven? I think this is a personal decision based on your preference and needs but I'll describe who I think would like each of these ovens, and then I'll tell you which one I'm keeping. At $550, the Breville Joule oven is a time-tested and proven design that's an evolutionary step from Breville's previous flagship oven, the BV900. It's a bit of an older design, but that's a reason to believe it's reliable. And if you do have a problem with it, Breville's very well regarded for having excellent customer support. It can do a good job with nearly any task an oven needs to do, and I think this is an oven that would make most people very happy. And if you prefer to cook with proven, reputable recipes, the free Joule Oven app is totally worth downloading. But the lack of integration between the app and the hardware using feedback from an integrated thermometer is my biggest reason to recommend one of the other two ovens to most people. If internet connectivity doesn't matter to you, or if space is at a premium on your counter, or if your budget is tight, then I think you should seriously consider the Ninja Foodie 10-in-1 Smart Oven XL. Despite its fairly awful name, it's an outstanding oven at an incredibly affordable price point.
Its extra height makes it practical to cook two dishes at once, something the other countertop ovens struggle to do. Its integrated thermometer makes it smart enough to stop cooking your food once it reaches your target temperature. And its exceptional well-engineered convection fan gives it the most powerful searing and air frying power by a good measure. There's a lot to like about this oven. Unless you're a baker, and then I don't think it's the right oven for you because you can't turn off that fan. And if you prefer an oven with a beautiful minimalist industrial design, an outstanding build quality, and a level of hardware and software integration common to Apple products, but very uncommon in kitchen appliances, then I think you'll be very happy with the June oven. At $900, it's not cheap, but you can see and touch what your money is paying for. It does a solid job of nearly anything you'd want to do in an oven, and my only serious complaint is that its convection fans are underpowered and inefficient at air frying. With its thermometers, computer vision, and smartphone interface, it's the smartest oven we've looked at in this series. And I think it does a very credible job of demonstrating how state-of-the-art technology can make it easier to cook food to your liking. So which one am I keeping? Actually, I'm keeping two. The June oven is staying here in my kitchen studio where I do my work creating content like this and working on products for my company, Combustion Inc. It's the most versatile oven for my needs. And being able to use the app and the camera in the oven to keep an eye on things when I run an errand or just wanna go get a coffee down the street, that's turned out to be incredibly useful. But my wife actually prefers the Ninja Foodie XL for its faster preheating and better air frying and the extra interior height. So it's going back home tonight. We're a two car household and now we'll also be a two smart oven household. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching.